What's going on everyone? Brian here from Native Instruments. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through a brand new virtual instrument that's very special to us. We are presenting to you the new Alicia's Electric Keys. It's been recorded at her personal studio with some of the world's best recording equipment to feature the original sound as pristine as it can be. This new instrument features Alicia's original effects chains that you've heard on tons of her records, including some big hits like Girl on Fire and many others. Use Alicia Keys' signature sound and effects, or create your own using this one-of-a-kind virtual instrument. We partnered with Alicia Keys the first time almost 15 years ago, and we captured her wonderful acoustic piano, which has been critically acclaimed since the start, and still today is widely used by many artists all around the world. Now we're excited to release a new virtual instrument that features the other side, a sound signature that's critical to Alicia's personal sound, the sound of her electric piano. Let's listen to a few examples of the variety of sounds that you get with this instrument. Let's quickly understand the basic layout of the instrument. The main page features a simplified layout, letting you quickly manipulate the instrument's tone. The eight knobs at the bottom change the tone of the instrument. The top right is where you change between different pages like instrument options or effects. Lastly, this is where you select different instrument presets. Clicking here brings up the preset menu. You can filter by type, character, and style. When selecting any of the presets, you can hear an audio preview. If you want to turn off this function, you can do so here. If you like any of the sounds, click the star to favorite it, and click the star next to the preset to view all of your favorited sounds, and even view your favorites within a particular character or style. Any of the presets that you see in the list that start with G-O-F, which stands for Girl on Fire, these are the signature and iconic sounds used on that track. While there are already tons of presets to choose from, you may need to adjust the sound quickly, and that's where the macro knobs come in. For each preset, the eight knobs will control various instrument and effect settings. If any of the knobs have a power icon, this means that you can turn on or off the effect. When hovering your mouse over a knob, you'll see a new icon appear. Clicking this will take you to the page that the parameter macro is controlling. You also have the ability to edit or create your own macro mappings. When you're on the instrument or effects page, this pencil icon puts you in macro editing mode. This icon will erase the current macro. To remap it, Click the dot above the knob and select the dot next to the parameter you wish to control. Any parameter that has a dot next to it, it's something that can be mapped to a macro knob. Once you're done, click the pencil icon again and you're all set.
Alicia's electric keys includes her signature effects chains, and you can also modify them and create your own. Click the effects to go to the effects page. The first starting point is selecting from the many effects presets. There are tons of filtering options to find the effect chain that you're looking for. You can customize the effect chain preset or create your own from scratch. Clicking an empty slot, you can select different effects like filters, drive, or amps. Selecting the effect in the chain brings up the effect parameters. You can also select the drop down to choose different presets for that specific effect. You can also create complex effects chains with effect routing for the pickup and microphone separately or merge them together at some point. The instrument section is where you can really dial in how Alicia's electric keys will sound. On the left, you have faders for the pickup, microphone, and sources. If you just want the recording from the microphone, click the pickup icon to disable it, or have both turned on and adjust the balance between the two. Under Sources, if you want more of the overtones from the microphone instead of the pickup, the sliders let you adjust that or just turn them off. The options under Shape, Tone, and Noise are for further refinement. If you want to have more sub to the sound, first enable it and then change what the root note is. You can also add creative things like more pedal noise or having noise loop like vinyl or rain to make something a little bit more moody. The last page is the settings for the entire instrument. If you need to adjust the tuning or detune the instrument, that can be done under the tuning page. Response is how the instrument responds to different inputs. You can turn on or off round robin, or turn on half pedaling, which will slightly dampen the sound. Lastly, the MIDI macro area is where you can select different velocity curves or customize your own. This is something that's brand new to this instrument. You can also change the pitch bend range or MIDI map the eight macro knobs to any MIDI controller. As you can see, this is a very powerful instrument with tons of customization to give this instrument a unique sound to fit any style of music. Give it a try yourself at nativeinstruments.com and thanks for watching.